Hello, everyone. Namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here today. We're going to wait a couple more minutes to see if anyone else joins us here today. Can everyone hear me okay? Okay, perfect. Great. Okay. And before we get started today, I just wanted to see if anyone would like to share any um, of their teaching training skills with us here today. If anyone has any yoga techniques or practices they want to go over with the group here today. Everyone's okay for now? Okay. Well, it is seven o'clock on the dot. We're going to wait about one to two more minutes to see if anyone else joins us today and give them the opportunity to teach. And um, as you guys know, I am not home today. I am, I am on vacation. So if the sound sounds horrible and the camera isn't in the best location, I do apologize. But I have the um, I have my laptop up on the chair. That's the top looks on the floor. Maybe I'll go from the floor to the chair. Okay. So I'll start out with the laptop on the floor. And then when we get to our standing positions, I'll bring the laptop up on the chair. Can, I, can everyone hear me well now that I'm backed up further? Can everyone still hear me? Okay, great. All righty, great. So I ask that we all find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may we find our seat. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cords are nice and elongated here, meaning we are not sunken. We have control of our bodies with our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. When we, when we relax our shoulders down, it reminds us, it allows us to help soothe and relax the upper parts of our bodies. A lot of people, a lot of our clients will say they have upper body pain, neck pain. Simply reminding to them to relax those shoulders down. Tummies tight, spinal cords nice and long could help with that issue. As we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes, taking a nice deep intentional breath in, hold the breath, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us as we continue to gaze down. Taking natural breaths as we relax in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into a seated salute, palms are together, interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Our heart chakra is open, our chin is up, allowing our arms to slightly flow to the back of the room. We are in a slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center. We're going to separate our palms, coming into a seated extended mountain. When our palms are separated, it's called an extended mountain. When our palms are together, it's called a prayer. I'm sorry, a salute. So in our extended mountain, seated extended mountain, we're going to lean our bodies towards the right, coming into a side bend, slightly gazing up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. We're going to feel this stretch here in our side body for three breaths. Two breaths. And if we're able, slightly bringing our palms together, coming into that salute. Now we are in our seated crescent moon. So when we bring our palms together, it's called the seated crescent moon. When we separate our palms, it's called the seated side bend. So taking a moment to notice the difference between the two. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, we are in our salute with our palms together. As we separate our palms, coming into that extended mountain, leaning our bodies towards the opposite side, we are in our seated side bend, feeling that stretch in our side body as we slightly gaze up at the heavens. Three breaths. 
two breaths. Breathing our palms together, coming into our seated crescent moon. Our palms are together. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale to prayer, relaxing our palms down at heart center, relaxing those shoulders away from the ears, allowing that body to relax here. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Breathing our palms back up to our salute, palms flows above our head, chin is up. Exhaling our palms towards the side. Our palms could be up, our palms could be down. Whatever feels best for you, we're going to continue to work the upper parts of our bodies. As we rotate our arms forward, we can go big or small. Maybe going small at first, noticing how the small rotations feel within a body. And then going big, noticing that they both work different parts. And what we are doing here with our rotations is we are firming and toning the upper parts of our bodies. We're also relaxing and building strength in our shoulders here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna rotate our arms in the opposite direction, going small at first, filling the rotations in the small circles. And then we're gonna go nice and big, noticing how it feels when we go a little bit wider in our circles. Three more breaths. And you may be feeling that burn. This just goes to show that little movements can have a major impact on the body. Slow is better than not moving at all. As we find our pause, we're gonna breathe our palms back up to our salute, interlacing our fingers, pointer finger points up towards the heavens, heart chakras open, chin is up, as our arms flow towards the back. This is a counter pose to what we just did, noticing how this pose relaxes and soothes the upper parts of our bodies, our shoulders. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up to our salute, breathing our palms down to our prayer. Relaxing those shoulders down with gaze and the eyes down. With our palms at heart center, may we take this time to thank ourselves for showing up here in our practice here today. Three breaths. Breathe in. Exhale our palms downward towards the earth. Our palms are connected to our environment. Shoulders are relaxed down, tummies tight, spinal cords nice and elongated. Eyes are gazed down towards the floor. As we are tuning into our environment, we are tapping in to what is going on around us, right here, right now. Being aware of how we feel in this present moment without judgment, simply noticing. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. May we take notice of what is going on and always being kind to oneself, never with judgment. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we flow our feet to a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. This is a bound pose because our feet are bounded together. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies here. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. So taking a moment to notice how each pose feels within the body. And if we ever have a client and they say they have tight hips and they want to loosen up their hips, a diamond or a butterfly is a nice pose to put them in to help with the hip flexors. With our tummies tight, our heart chakra is open, our chin is up, we're going to flow into a cow, allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades. We are in our bound cow pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into cat, bringing our chin to our clavicle, spinal cord flows to the back of the room, cat pose. Three breaths. 
Tummy sit tight. Two more breaths. Exhale back to our cow. Lobe into our cat. Coming back to our diamond or our butterfly. Palms connected to our feet. We're going to slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we lean forward, you'll feel it more inside of your hip flexors. So only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down. Our torso flows forward. Our shoulder blades melts forward. Our head relaxes down towards our feet. Filling the hip flexors, relaxing. Filling this in our spinal cord. Relaxing our head down. You may also feel it in your cervical spine, which is your neck. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming up to that diamond or that butterfly. Using our hands to bring our legs in. We're going to straighten our legs into a staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Bodies are nice and elongated here. Spinal cord is elongated. Heart chakras open, chin is up. We're going to hang out here in this staff pose, feeling nice and strong. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we plan to flex our toes downward towards the earth, we call this the ballerina's toes. So plan to flexing those toes downward, feeling that stretch. As we slightly lean forward, torso comes towards the thighs. We are in that half forward fold. Reaching down to our ankles, if we're able, reaching down to our feet, coming into that full forward fold. Whatever feels best for you, this is a full body stretch. Torso melts forward, head melts downward towards the knees. Taking nice, subtle breaths here. Four more breaths. Keeping those toes flexed downwards, feeling that full body stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to that half forward fold as we flow to our staff pose, relaxing that body, blowing our palms above our heads in that salute, chin is up, feeling that stretch, breathe in. Exhale to prayer, palms at heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears, gazing forward with our eyes closed or gaze down at the earth. Three breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice breath in as we breathe our right leg inward, knees in the air, right foot flat on the earth. We're going to work on our stage we're reaching here. So, so right foot is flat on the earth, knees in the air, feeling that inside of the body. Noticing how we feel as we lift that right arm up in the air, feeling that stretch. We're going to lean our bodies slightly towards the left, just a little. Lean forward just a little. Bringing that arm down, we're going to wrap this right arm around that right leg, feeling that stretch here. We are in our Sage Marici. And this is our Sage Marici one. Our heart chakra is open and our chin is up. We can also breathe in that left leg if that feels good. We are also in a Sage Marici with that leg inward. Whatever feels good for you. And if we choose, and if we want to go deeper in this stretch, we can take this left hand and wrap it around our backs, interlacing our left and right fingertips. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Sage Marici one. Three breaths. Two more breaths. We're gonna hold this pose and we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips with our heads relaxed downward towards our knee. Now we're in our Sage Marici two. We're gonna hold this pose, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling out of that pose, we're gonna uninterlace our fingers. If they were, if they were laced, we're gonna unwrap that leg, coming back into that staff pose. Breathing our palms above our heads in that salute, chin is up, feeling that stretch, breathe in. 
Exhale to prayer. Palms at heart center. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in that left leg towards the body. Knees in the air. Left foot is spread on the earth. We're going to sage Marici opposite side. Noticing how this feels as we lift that left arm up in the air. Lean the body towards the right just a little. Lean forward, lower that left arm as we wrap this left arm around that left knee. We are in our stage, Marie G1, just feeling this stretch here. Keeping in mind, we can breathe that right leg inward. We are still in our stage, Marie G. We can keep it straight. We also have the option to take in this left, this right hand, bringing it behind our backs and interlacing our left and right fingertips. With that heart chakra open and our chin up, we are in our stage, Marie G1. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and slightly hinging at the hips, coming into that sage, Marici. Two, head relaxed downward towards the knee. Three breaths. Two breaths. Slowly uninterlacing those fingers. We are going to unwrap that thigh, coming back into our staff pose, straightening out our legs side by side, plantar flexing those toes downward towards the earth, feeling that stretch as we hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold or that complete forward fold, whatever feels good in your body. Head relaxes downward, shoulder blades melt forward, feeling this full body stretch. This pose also relaxes and regulates the heartbeat as our heart comes closer towards our thighs. It allows our heartbeat to soothe and regulate. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into half forward fold as we flow to our staff pose. Bodies are straight, legs are still parallel. As we breathe that right leg up, knees in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. This time we're gonna cross this right foot over that left. Yes, just feeling that stretch. Spinal cord is nice and long, heart chakra is opened. We're gonna take this right hand, bring it behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. Feeling that spinal twist as we slightly gaze over our right shoulder. Noticing how this feels in the body. We are now in our Sage Marici three. We're gonna hold this pose for four breaths. Noticing how this twist and soothes the spine. Natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing that hand forward. We're going to flow back into that staff pose. Body's nice and long here. We're going to bring that left knee in the air. Left foot is flat on the earth. We're going to cross this left foot over that right. We're going to bring this left hand behind our backs, fingertips facing away from us as we gaze over that left shoulder, feeling this spinal twist. We are in our Sage Marici three. And I forgot to mention, but if we want to go deeper in that twist, we can take this right arm and cross it over that left thigh and go deeper in that twist. Noticing how that feels. So whatever feels best for you, feeling that spinal cord soothed. Relax. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, straightening out those, those legs back into that staff pose, flowing into our salute. Chin is up. Exhale to prayer. Relaxing the body as we cross our feet, bringing our legs inward. We're going to flow into a tabletop pose. Coming on to our hands and our knees. Knees are hip distance apart. 
Tummies are sunken downward towards the earth as we flow into our cow. Chin is up. You'll feel this cow in your lower back. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here for three breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe to our cat, bringing our chin to our clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heaven. Tummies are nice and tight here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to cow. Flow into our cat. Coming back to our table pose as we breathe our right leg towards the back. We're going to work on our sunbird pose here. So right leg flows towards the back, feeling that stretch. Palms are flat on the earth as we are gaze forward. We are balancing and strengthening our bodies here. And if we feel well, we can extend that left arm forward, coming into that full sunbird. <sighs> Allowing the body to soothe and strengthen and balance with our tummies tight. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crutch, bringing, bringing that knee inward. Flowing back to bird. Knee to elbow, tummy crunch. Back to bird. Feeling that stretch, knee to elbow. Back to bird, two breaths, and we're gonna build a little strength here. We're gonna pulse that right leg up, working our gluteus maximus, if we're able. Feeling that pulse, three breaths, two breaths, hold it, two more breaths. Exhale back to table, feeling that burn, dropping down to cow, chin is up. Breathing to our head. Lower back to our table as we breathe our left leg towards the back, nice and high, feeling that stretch. Palms are flat on the earth. Gaze forward. Balancing and strengthening here. As we breathe that right arm forward, coming into that sunbird, opposite side. Tummies are tight. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in, exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow. Lower back to bird, hold this pose, we're going to pulse that left leg up, rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus, three breaths, two breaths, feeling a burn. Find and pause, hold it. Exhaling back to table, dropping down to cow. Exhaling to cat. Slowing our bodies back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs to feel that nice deep stretch here. <sighs> As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, feeling this here in our hip flexors here. Build and strengthen our arms. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause, shifting that weight forward, coming into that high plank, tummies nice and tight. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhaling down to the tummy. Coming onto our Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. We are in our Sphinx pose. Our shoulders are not shrugged away from our ears, having control of that body here. As we are gaze forward with our chin up, taking a nice breath in. Exhale. This Sphinx pose is a slight back bend. You'll feel it in your lumbar spine. It's also a relaxing and soothing pose. As we hang out here for three breaths. Two breaths. 
As we flow down to our tummies, we're going to flow into a Superman, Supergirl. We're already on the earth. Let's stay down here nice and low. Breathing out. We're swimming our hands forward, bringing our legs off the earth. Superman, Supergirl. And we can act like we're flying if we choose, or we can stay still. Gazing forward. This is a toning pose. It tones the entire legs, the arms, the back. It's also a slight back bend. Three breaths. Still in this in your gluteus maximus. Two more breaths. Swimming our hands towards the back, coming into a locust pose. Swimming those hands towards the back. Palms is up towards the heavens. Chin is up. Heart chakra is open. This is a deeper back bend. Locust pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Filling it in our gluteus maximus. Exhale into our bow pose. Right hand to right ankle, left hand to left ankle. Lift, using our hands and our feet to lift our torso farther away from the earth. This here is a deeper back bend. Chin is up, heart chakra is opened. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, relaxing down, swimming those hands forward. We're going to come into a sleep pose, stacking our palms on top of each other with our chin, cheeks, or forehead. Relax onto our palms. Shoulder blades melt forward. Eyes are closed or gaze down. Breathe in. Exhale. as we relax in our sleep pose for four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling out of our sleep pose, coming back into a staff pose. We are back on our forearms. Shoulders are away from the ears. Chin is up, heart chakra is open, eyes are gazed downward. Two breaths. As we flow to our baby cold, we're bringing our palms next to our torso, pushing our torso slightly away from the earth. Our elbows are bent. We are in that baby cobra. Flowing to our cobra, we're going to straighten out those elbows. Now we're in that cobra. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Two breaths. Exhale into up dog, taking those thighs off the earth. Now we're in our up dog. This is a deeper back bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back down to our thighs. We are back in that cobra. Flowing back down to that baby cobra. Elbows are bent. Flow into that Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Gazing forward, eyes are closed to gaze down. As we take a moment to notice the difference between the poses we just went over, the Sphinx pose, the baby cobra, the cobra, and the up dog. They all look very similar. They all feel very similar in the body, yet they work different parts of the body. So maybe just take a moment to notice how they feel. As we are now in our Sphinx pose, we're going to flow back to our baby cobra. Elbows are slightly bent. Torso comes away from the earth. Chin is up. Exhale into our cobra, straightening those elbows. Chin is up. Exhale into our up dog, taking our thighs off the earth. Up dog. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. Finding pause as we walk our hands towards, walk our feet towards our hands. Taking two steps forward, we are in our complete forward fold. Allowing that torso to relax over that thigh, head melts downwards. This here is a full body stretch. 
This pose also regulates and soothes the heartbeat as our heart is closer towards our thighs. We're gonna relax and soothe here for four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Breathing back. Let's stay here for one second. We're going to yogi walk our feet slightly apart. And then we're going to come back to that complete forward fold. Now we're going to head to melt down. As we flow into a rag dial, hugging our elbows with our hands, feeling this within our bodies. And if we choose, we can actually wrap or sway our bodies from side to side, noticing how that feels behind your legs and your hamstring. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at center, we're going to come into a half forward fold. Maybe we're wide legged. As we come up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, wide legged mountain pose if we're able. Let's see how this here. I'm going to keep it on the floor. Okay, we are in our Tadasana. <sighs> Let me know if this picture is fine. <sighs> Can you guys hear me from way back here? Okay, great. Okay, we're gonna slow our palms above our heads in our salute. Front chakras open, chin is up. Exhale to prayer, palms at heart center. Hinge your neck to hips. As we flow into a wide legged forward fold, head melts down. We're gonna connect our right hand to our right ankle, left hand to left ankle, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold. Coming up to our wide legged Tadasana. And we're gonna twist our front foot forward. We're gonna flow into a warrior two. So twisting that front foot, that right foot forward, dropping that body down. Filling that warrior two pose here, yes. Feeling nice and strong. <sighs> This warrior pose works the lower parts of the body. We're gonna hold this for four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, reverse warrior, feeling that stretch, reversing that warrior, gazing up at the heavens, the fingertips, if that feels good, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. Feeling that rotation here as we flow to our warrior one, twisting that body forward. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to warrior two, feeling the movements here. Two breaths. We're going to straighten that front leg. We're going to flow into a triangle. Using a block if you choose. Right hand comes down to right ankle or yoga block. The left hand flows up in the air. Gazing up at the heavens, gazing down. We are in our triangle pose. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. <sighs> Coming back forward, blowing our palms above our head in that wide legged salute. Exhale into prayer, bringing our palms at heart center as we hinge at the hips, feeling that stretch here. Hinging at the hips, slightly gazing forward, reaching our hands down to our ankles, right, to, right hand, right ankle, left hand, left ankle, head melts down. Wide legged forward fold, four breaths. Two 
Two more breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold, slightly gazing the body forward, slightly gazing the eyes forward. Flowing up to our Tadasana wide legged. Twisting that left leg forward, we're gonna flow into that warrior two opposite side, building strength in the lower parts of our bodies. Balancing the body, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow to reverse warrior, stretching that arm over the head, gazing up at the heavens if you choose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to warrior two. As we flow to warrior one, twisting that body forward. <sighs> Chin is slightly up. Two more breaths. Exhale back to warrior two, feeling the movements here. Straightening out their front leg as we flow into our triangle. Left hand comes down to left ankle or yoga block. Right hand flows up towards the heavens. Feeling the stretch. <sighs> Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to warrior two. <sighs> Twisting our bodies back forward, half forward fold. Breathing to our complete forward fold. Relaxing that head down, connecting the hands to the ankles. Taking a nice deep breath in here. Exhale. Three more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold. Coming back up to that Tadasana, we are still wide legged with our toes pointing outwards to the outsides of the room. So toes are pointed outwards. We're going to drop our bodies down to that goddess, God stance. Continuing to work in the lower parts of our bodies. We are toning and firming the lower parts of our bodies here. We are in our cactus hands. Chin is up. As we flow our palms above our heads in that salute, feeling that stretch. Exhale to prayer, palms at heart center. And we're going to feel this burning. We're going to pulse our bodies up and down here. Feeling that burn as we pulse our bodies. Four breaths. Two breaths, feeling a burn, keep on flowing. Finding that pause, we're gonna rock our body from side to side. Feeling that rock. We are working our quads here. We are farming. We are strengthening. Three more breaths. Two breaths. We're gonna find our pause. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. This is a counter pose to what we just did. This forward fold relaxes and soothes our legs. Four breaths. Taking in a nice deep breath. Exhale. Soothing and relaxing here. Two more breaths. Walking our hands forward, bringing our legs back together. We are in our down dog, gazing at our feet. <sighs> Exhale to shifting our weight forward, coming into that high plank. Tummies are tight. Four breaths. Building strength in our arms. Two more breaths. Tummies are tight. Exhale back down dog, gazing at the feet. Coming into a dolphin, coming onto our forearms, forearms, buttocks is high in the air as we are gazed at the back of the room. This dolphin pose prepares the head, the mind, the body. I'm sorry for headstand. Four breaths. 
Walking our feet closer towards our bodies allows our buttocks to come higher in the air. Yes, that's how we get into that headstand. See that there? Yes, we're going to hold this pose four breaths, four more breaths. Doing a little bonus here. Prepping the body and the mind for headstand. <sighs> Crossing up and down on your tippy toes if you feel good. Coming up and down on the tippy toes. Up and down if you choose. Noticing how that's ready to really put you inside that headstand. Yes. Two more breaths. Mm. Finding our paws coming down to our knees. We're going to come into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Whatever feels best for you, child's pose, puppy pose. In our puppy pose, our legs are closer together. Buttocks is high in the air. Torso comes down with, towards the earth. Puppy pose. In our child's pose, wide-legged, our legs are further apart. Torso relaxes between the body. But is closer towards the hills. Child's pose. With our third eye chakra, our forehead connected to the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Shoulder blades melt forward, allowing that body to completely relax as we are going inward. Third eye chakra is connected to the earth, connected to our environment. May we see. May we feel, may we know, as we relax in silent meditation for seven natural breaths. Mm. Three more breaths. We are in our extended child's pose, puppy pose. That means that our arms are extended in front of us. Our palms are flat on the earth as we spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose, using our palms to push our torsos forward, filling that spinal wave, using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. And we are feeling this wave in our hips and our spines, feeling the movements and that rotation here in the body. We're going to do four more spinal waves. <sighs> Two more. As we find our pause at center, we're going to come back to that tabletop. Knees are hip distance apart. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Lower back to our table. Crossing our feet at our ankles. Coming into a seated pose. Just for a second. We're going to come onto our backs. We're going to come into a reclined position. Hugging our knees into our chest. Taking a moment to show ourselves a little love. As we extend our legs up in the air, legs on the wall or invisible wall. Uh, reaching downward, bringing our feet towards our torso. But that comes slightly off the earth. This is a full body stretch, legs to torso stretch. Three breaths. Exhale, lays back up on the wall. Breathing our knees inward, knees to chest. Exhaling our legs, our knees towards the right. We are in our reclined spinal twist. Feeling this in our lumbar spine here. Shoulder blades melts back towards the earth. Taking our right arm, extending it out towards the side like a T. As we gaze over our right shoulder or gaze up at the heavens. Whatever you choose, we're going to use our reclined spinal twist to soothe the mind and the body. As we relax and go inward for five natural breaths.
Three more breaths. Take it a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Coming back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. As our knees flow, falls towards the right. Recline spinal twist, opposite side. Knees flowing towards the right. Left arm goes out to the side like a T. Gazing over that left shoulder or gazing up at the heavens. Feeling our bodies relax and soothe here in our spinal twist. As we use this time to relax and go inward, five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. <sighs> Two breaths. With our feet crossed at our ankles, we're going to do a tummy crunch, coming into a both pose. It's coming up, we're going to work our abdominals. We work every part of our body, so we got to do our abdominal muscles. We're going to flow into a both pose. Legs can be parallel, they can be crossed at the feet but they can be up nice and straight. Whatever feels best for you here. In our boat pose, our core, the abdominals are nice and tight. Our spinal cord are nice and long. Our chin is up, seven breaths. Five breaths. Core is nice and tight. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Holding this pose, bringing our hands inward. We're going to pound our fists from left to right. Working our obliques, we're going to do this for seven. Let's make it eight breaths. Tummies are tight. Going as fast or as slow as you choose. Six more breaths. Five breaths. Feeling that burn, four more breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pose, connecting our hands to our feet. Feeling that stretch, spinal cords nice and long here. We're gonna take our left leg, bring it out towards the side, feeling that stretch. Chin is up, heart chakras open. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling that leg in. Breathing that right leg out towards the side, feeling that stretch. Chin is up, heart chakras open. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, both feet back inward, keeping our feet in our hands. Tummies tight, backs are nice and long, extending that left leg out towards the side. One more time, breathing that right leg out towards the side. We are in our boat pose variation. People also like to call this bear pose. With our hands and our feet, we can bend our knees if that feels good for you. We're going to hold this pose, five breaths. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Three breaths. Exhale and our feet together, coming into that down position, diamond or butterfly. Tummies tight, heart chakras open, chin is up. Final cord is elongated here, flowing into that bound cow pose. Head relaxes between the shoulder blades. 
Exhale to cat. Chin comes to the clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Tummy is tight. Flowing back to our down position, diamond or butterfly. Using our hands to bring our knees inward as we flow back onto our backs. Hugging our knees into our chest. Extending our legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Bending our knees to our chest. Coming into a happy baby. Hands come between our thighs. Feet are up in the air. Connecting our hands to our feet. We are in our happy baby. Gazing up at the heaven. This happy baby is also a hip opener. It's also a relaxing and soothing pose. As we can rock our body from side to side if we choose using the earth to relax and soothe our spine. Or we can stay still. As we freestyle, relaxing and soothing in our happy baby for four, let's make it five natural breaths. Mm. Three breaths. Breathe in, exhale. Exhaling out the happy baby, coming to legs on the wall pose. Legs are up in the air. Plants are flexing those toes towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Toes points up towards the heavens. Plants are flexed. As we reach down, bringing our legs towards our torso, legs to body stretch. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to legs on the wall, breathing our knees into our chest. As we straighten our legs out parallel side by side, coming into a shavasana, a rest pose. Legs are parallel. The sides of our feet are connected. As we allow our feet to fall to the side like the knee, this allows us to completely relax our legs. As we are gazed up at the heavens with our eyes closed, if that was possible, shoulder blades are melted back and see over back to the earth as we are feeling one with our environment. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. As we relax in silent meditation for five natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose, keeping our eyes gaze down and closed. If that feels good. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Slowly wiggling our toes, rotating our feet at our ankles, moving our buttocks at our hips, awakening our bodies. As we use our top hands to bring our bodies to a seated pose, any seated pose that feels good for you, I'm going to come into a cow face legs. With our tummies tight, spinal cord is nice and elongated here. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. Eyes are gazed down and closed. As we breathe in deeply, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in. Exhale. Noticing how the breath feels within the body, how it relaxes and soothes. 
ensuring that our chin is relaxed, our facial muscles are relaxed, our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into our seated prayer, shoulders relaxed down. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you all so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.